CataractCoach.com. The problem with one haptic in the sulcus is this, a dislocated lens. Watch as our expert surgeon rescues this difficult case. Patient had two years ago, cataract surgery with a femtosecond laser. Yes, laser. And a trifocal lens, which you can see is very descended. If you look carefully here when the pupil is dilated, you see some openings there in the posterior capsule. You can see that superior haptic is behind the rexus in the bag. The inferior haptic is in the sulcus in front of the capsular bag. And you can see there's a rip in the posterior capsule here, likely because of a run out of the capsulotomy here. There's the run out of the capsulotomy. Yes, in fact, a manual capsular rexus can be much stronger than a femtosecond laser one. Wow, look at that case. Very decentered lens here. Surgeon's going in with some trocars, parts planted, looks like 25 gauge. And there's obviously some prolapse vitreous that needs to be cleaned up as well. Now the question is, the patient wants the trifocal lens. Can you rescue this? So a couple pairs of TC incisions being made inside the eye. Here's a LASIK cannula with some viscoelastic to get under that rexus edge to separate the anterior and posterior capsule leaflets. You want to get that capsular bag opened to see, can you get that lens back in the bag? Even though the posterior capsule may be open, there could be great support at the equator. So here, going around, opening up the anterior cap, posterior capsule leaf, but even two years later, it's possible. And now if you can get that uh, trailing haptic, that inferior haptic there on the left side of your screen, and that can be placed inside the capsular bag at the lens equator at the bag equator, that will provide support. There it is being placed under the anterior capsular rexus. Now it's in the bag. And look, automatically it wants to center. So remember, most of the support here is going to be through those haptic, not necessarily at that optic. And now the lens is actually beautifully centered. Anterior vitrectomy is being done here because there is prolapse vitreous around that break in the posterior capsule. And so now this is looking a lot, lot better. So anterior vitrectomy, cleaning that up. Also taking away a little bit of that central capsule. Those wrinkles, you don't need those in the central visual axis, and they're not providing much uh, support for the eye wall either. Remember, the eye wall is essentially supported by the good capsule support at the lens capsule back equator. So cleaning up this central part to have unobstructed um, um, visual axis there. You can see the trifocal rings there. It looks like an Alcon Panoptics lens. And that's looking pretty reasonable. Now the surgeon's going to do a posterior vitrectomy, clean up all the vitreous. So do a full, complete pars plana vitrectomy. This is a situation that I would refer to our vitretinal colleagues for, but that can all be cleaned up nicely. And make sure you check the retina periphery as well. Make sure you check for entry site breaks with your pars plana trocars, where those are positioned. And now the surgeon's going to do a gonio mirror on the eye, a gonio prism, and doing a canaloplasty. Looks like a canaloplasty, injecting a little viscoelastic one way and now the other way, and then perhaps a goniotomy too. So maybe this patient has some pressure-related issues. So this will help control that glaucoma. So goniotomy plus canaloplasty, plus part plan of vitrectomy, plus IOL repositioning. This is quite an involved case here. You see at the end here, it looks pretty darn good. Triamcinol going inside the anterior chamber to make sure there's no prolapsed vitreous. Looks pretty clean. And the patient can have a really nice outcome. And it looks like the lens is very stable and beautifully centered now. And then here at the end, it looks like limbal relaxed incisions in order to help cut down any pre-existing astigmatism and give the patient a better visual outcome. So keep in mind, don't ever let one haptic be in the sulcus while the other's in the bag. That's a recipe for a big disaster. Can be repaired like an expert does in this case, but it's better to just prevent it in the first situation. Taking out that last trope car, look at that. Stable, stable lens. Beautiful result. Happy patient. Let's take a look at the post-op pick. Post-op day one, nicely centered, quiet eye, beautiful outcome. So be very careful with haptic positioning. I want to remind you that we have a resident surgical video competition coming up. Look at the screen here. These are some important details. It's coming up on June 15th. You want to get your video submitted as soon as possible. A short three-minute video with your voice on it. Explaining any kind of situation in cataract, glaucoma, anterior segment surgery. It's for residents and postgraduates from all over the world. You can see the details here. If you want the clickable links, yes, you'll have to leave YouTube and go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website. Click on today's video, and you'll have the hot links so you can find out more details 
and you can win the money. You deserve this.